Hello, and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. Um, we're going to delve a little deeper into this whole rearranging problem. Um, and today, from the perspective of why, why you might not have been so successful. And it's all about, you know, what happens when you, when you don't know your why. And that's rearranging. <laughs> Rearranging is always going to be a problem until you are able to connect why you're getting organized to the actions of getting organized. Once those are in alignment, it becomes very easy. Sorting is easy. Deciding where things live is easy. Um, helping decide what to let go of. All of that becomes much more clear when you know why. What is the desired outcome of an organizing session? I'm going to talk about this over and over and over because it's the missing piece that most of my clients struggle with. They sort and sort and sort. It happened again last Friday. Sort and sort and sort and sort. And then everything gets jumbled back up because you run out of time and you have to um, walk away. And then when you come back, you have to reorient. So the other part of knowing your why is to make it faster to reorient between organizing sessions. Um, when you have to take so long to figure out where you left off and why you put something in a certain pile versus another pile and your kind of perspective on what you're working on changes a little bit every time you revisit it, it's really easier to know your why to get back to where you need to be. If you have questions about how you did something and you know your why, you can return to that why and then hopefully make that connection of how it, it lines back up. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but let's use a, an actual example. Why do I keep my letter opener over there and why might I have left it over here today, let's say. And um, if I know my why for leaving the letter opener was actually so that I would remember to do something else. It doesn't involve the system today. But if I don't know that, I might be like, what was I thinking of? What was I trying to connect the letter opener to? I already did the mail. It's not back in the pencil cup. What's happening? So the location of things connects to the clues about where you are in your work process. And when you know your why, those will also be in alignment with, um, with why something is in a certain place. So it becomes easier. Everything is connected to that. And when you get oriented faster, um, it's, it's like you gain satisfaction because you know where you're going. You're moving forward. You're not losing momentum. All of it maintains motivation to keep going forward. Um, and, and one of the things about constantly resorting uh, that you can avoid by knowing your why is, is that hiding from yourself um, your true desires. When you constantly sort, it looks like you're making progress without actually making progress. And so you can pretend you've done some things that you haven't actually completed, but it looks like you made progress. Um, and when you resort over and over and over, or you get hindered in the sorting process by interruption or frustration, you can kind of start training your brain to not take you very seriously. And by knowing your why, helping you pull you through the sorting and categorizing process, that's the beginning stages of getting organized, is, you know, getting oriented. What is all this stuff I have? What is in my way? What is helping me? What is hindering me? Why do I even have this? All those questions get asked when you look at the things. And so having clear direction on how you're going to sort and what categories you're, you're going to need in the desired outcome helps you evaluate and stay satisfied, motivated, create momentum. And, um, starts training your brain to take you seriously again. Like you are on top of things because you know these are the four options you have for, for sorting things into. And after that, you can subcategorize all you want. But for this phase, you're only sorting into this many. And that's informed by your why. What are you trying to accomplish? Is your main priority today to clear the floor? 
or is it to have an immaculate file system start to finish, which is way too big of a, a, a what are they called? Way too big of a goal to have for one session. So chunk it down, know why you're doing all of it in the first place, and it'll inform your stuff. Sorry, I didn't turn off my phone. My bad. Um, so let me know what you think, how you connect your why to how you sort, and let me know how it goes. See if this helps in any way. Um, more on uh, rearranging and how it impacts your organizing efforts next week. In the meantime, have a delightful day.